soaking wet that's all right uh, got up early been walking through the drizzle and probably more than right around halfway done with this road walk I'll finish it up today and get back uh, <clears throat> back into the woods so here's what I'm seeing road road and more road that's probably all I'm gonna be seeing for a while so <laughs> so that's what I'm doing not much to see but I will click it back on once I get off this road PT up yeah one of the good parts about the end of this road walk is well not the end but once I get 14 miles past that then I am at Christmas which is the place that's about 10 minutes from my house and that's something to look forward to at least all right. Oh, later. All right, everybody got in late last night. <clears throat> Raining, long road walking day, but I managed to shovel my tent into that little cubby hole there. It was loud because the expressway is right over there, the Beeline Expressway. wasn't that loud, but slept pretty good. And I am out headed that way north to Christmas for the family pickup. Good morning, everybody. So, long road walk yesterday through the rain all day long. Glad to be done with it now. I am back on some soft ground. So, feet feel good. Slept in late this morning. Uh, just because my body wanted to, which is good. I've only got about 13 miles to get to Christmas where oh sorry about the wind where my son is going to pick me up and uh, I'm going to go home uh, not sure exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow but we'll see how it all goes but I get a pick up get to go home get a warm shower get my wash clothes washed the whole deal and big fat resupply and food all right more later all right Great way to start out the day. No choice. Don't get your feet wet. Don't be wet. I don't know how long today, but this slosh goes for another 0.3 miles, so we'll see how long it lasts. I will tell you one thing. Even though it's muddy and wet, it sure does feel good to be back in the woods. Off of the roads. So, there's a couple of paths you can take on this section. You can take a, uh, a shorter route that gets you around. It says if the floodplain is high, you can take the shorter route that goes around the floodplain. But you know what? I get my shoes, my socks, everything washed tonight. This is about three miles longer, but hey, I'm going for it. What the heck? So, gonna be a little bit wetter for me but I don't mind all right more later all right little camp spot we'll head back here if they have a picnic if they have a picnic table I'll uh, maybe take a load off but hmm it's pretty swampy Yeah, it goes back further. Let's see what's back here. Yeah, that's the blue blaze way off. Let's be adventurous. Try it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because I see a blue blaze way down there. Uh, yes, let there be comfort. Do that to even have a tent platform. 
fire ring, two picnic tables. Somebody left some garbage. But it's nice. I'm gonna take a little break and be back with you in a minute. Or right, a little bit. Alright, even though today so far has been a slog fest through mud and muck and swamp. We get a nice little environment change here. Got some oaks, palms, and everything all together. Unfortunately though, this has brought out the mosquitoes. I'm starting to get a little bit swarmed here, so I'm gonna have to put the phone away and speed up my pace a little bit <laughs> to outrun them. But another beautiful area. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm coming from. Little Craig Hawk Mains there. Now it's an interesting shaped tree, an L-shaped tree there. Palm tree, I guess it started growing to the left and decided it wanted to go up and get some sun. <laughs> Who knows, hurricane may hit it years ago. But trucking light along, got about seven miles to go to get to Christmas and I am ready. Feet are sopping wet and muddy and uh, ready to get some dry feet clean socks. So much for keeping my feet dry anytime today. It has been a mud fest. Not as bad as day two in Big Cypress, but definitely as much, or if not more, than day one. So, better put this phone up. Hate to slip and fall and drop this in the water. All right, hiking on. 
All right, nice little bridge over the Tootsahatchee or yeah, Tootsahatchee Creek. Nice little ride up on this bridge, which is cool. So let's check it out. Nice flowing water in the creek there. Doesn't seem to be flowing too much right here, but. Nice little place, about two miles from the finish. So I'm headed north. All right, toward the end of my day here. I have a bird back there in the background. You can't see him, he's pretty far away. But uh, for a long time, since uh, I've been kind of dreaming about doing this Florida trail through hike I was wondering when it was going to be my day to go through this style right here this is the style that leads me straight to State Road 50 right there at Christmas and I cross this uh, road just about every day when I uh, go to work at REI so today is my day when I get up there I may even uh, take a left and go down to Christmas Grocery and get me a cold drink or something. But I'm going to turn this around right here. It's got good. lots of chickens over here and ducks. And a big old band of roots are back there. Let's see if I can get this There they are. Looking over the town. <laughs> All right. That could be it for the day. I might end up doing uh, one at the Christmas grocery if I make it down there. Okay, PT up. Mm -hmm.